All right, this is OXDF, and today I'm looking at Swerdle. Uh, I did a video yesterday where we looked at Wordle, um, which is this really popular online ge uh, word guessing game. Uh, and today we're going to look at Swerdle, which is like a spin off one where on, <laughs> you have to, it's uh, four letters instead of five, and you only get four guesses, and they're all curse words. So um, I picked up Swerdle not because I'm like wanting to showcase the vulgarity, but because um, I took a quick look, and where, you know, Wordle, when we looked at it, everything was done client side. And therefore we were able to pretty easily not only put breakpoints in place and figure out what today's word was when we looked at the comparison, um, but also actually then figure out how the word was selected out of a list. Um, that see, so you give me a date and I can tell you what the Wordle answers can be for any day. Um, I took a quick look at Swerdle and it's actually using network connections. So every time I make a guess, uh, it's sending it off to a server somewhere. So uh, I kind of stopped there, but let's take a look and see what we can do and see what we can find out. Uh, maybe we can figure out how to hack this too. So uh, that's what we're gonna do today. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so this is Swerdle. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep this as PG as I can, but a swear word might pop up on there. Apologies in advance if that's offensive. Um, but I'm also gonna try not to spoil this. So if you like love Swerdle and play every day, I'm like not gonna ruin it for you. Um, so, you know, I can start here. I can put in something like, you know, test, and it will tell me that the last letter is in fact T. Um, I think it's like more like generic. Um, yeah, so you can start to see, okay, there's a C and it's in the wrong place. Um, so we, we can see kind of what's going on. Let's start just the way we did with um, Wordle. Um, somewhere, if you if we look at the network, we don't actually have anything here. Um, we reload the page, okay. Um, when we reload the page, we still have our answers here. Uh, and when we do this get, it doesn't look like there's any kind of, uh, is there a cookie? Oh, it's actually, it, look at this, the, the guest data actually is a cookie. Um, so that's how you can see, you can get all the data about what's been going on right there in the cookies. That's interesting. Um, it's a little bit different. So we'll come up here into storage uh, under cookies and we can delete this and we can refresh the page and we're back at the new page. Okay. Uh, so if we go back here to network, let's clear it out now. And so what happens here when I come in here and put in test? Um, and what we'll see is right away, there's a, there's a git request that contains, it's to check word.php and it can, contains guess equals test. And so um, this means I'm not gonna be able to just like dive into, uh, when I went to Wordle, you know, I could go to the debugger and all the words were in the JavaScript right in here. Um, and so I don't have that here. I have instead, let's see if we can find here's the submit guess function. Uh, it's gonna push it onto an array and then uh, it is going to get JSON URL. So that's going to be some right there. So JavaScript making that request. And then based on the results, it handles it and populates the form on the screen or the web page. So, um, cool. So that's, uh, we're not going to be able to just find the answer in here. What we do want to choose see is can we, can we replay this? So let's grab this uh, URL right here. And do we have a terminal open? We still have the terminal open from yesterday. Let's see. Uh, we have a dead terminal. Still pain, yes. All right, Tmux, great. Um, so we'll just stay in our Wordle directory because this is kind of Wordle-ish. Um, and what were we gonna do? Ah, we're gonna curl and paste that in and see what we get. And we get back, um, let's go ahead and add an echo to the end so that we get a new line. Uh, we are getting, it looks like this jQuery wrapped around some JSON here that does show us, you know, that we saw, so we had, we put in test and we remember it showed us, let's see, um, go back to the web page. The T was in the right spot. Um, and so that's what the two must be in the right spot. Uh, let's see if we can change this. And what's the second one we did? Duck, I believe. So we put in duck and it, here, when we, when we do duck, we see the C is in the wrong spot. And so we can see that's represented by a one here. Um, cool, let's see, is all this necessary? Let's see. Um, I don't know what this under, let's, let's start just taking out some, I mean, this is probably fine. We could probably work with this, but let's just take out some parameters and see if we can still make it work. We don't want to get rid of our guess. Uh, can we get rid of this callback jQuery thing and just make it guess equals? Uh, looks like a yes. We still get a result. Um, cool. So that's great. So we found, we have an Oracle here that we can hit. Um, 
going to move out of curl now into request. So I'm going to write a little Python script to uh, uh, win where. So we'll start with our shebang. Uh, maybe Python 3. We're going to need requests. It looked like we had some JSON there. So I'm going to go ahead and import uh, JSON. Let's see what else we need as we go. Um, so, oh, I know. We're almost so certainly going to need string. String. Awesome. Okay, so what are we going to do? Um, I thought it was a little bit, and we could try to be really clever and submit like A, B, C, D, D, E, F, G, and really minimize our requests. Um, but the logic on our end is going to be really complicated to do that. Um, and so I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to write um, uh, word equals, and we're just going to set it equal to, actually, we can just, I think we can do none times four. So we got four blanks. And now we can do four C in string dot ASCII upper case. We'll do for each letter. Um, response equals requests dot get. Build that in my clipboard. Let's come up here and make this a um, URL equals beautiful. We'll get rid of that at the end. Now we can do F URL and then uh, C times four like that. I think that'll work. Um, let's just, let's just do something. Let's just print response dot text. text as we go. Um, we could also do a oops, we could also do PDB and drop in here, but let's just uh, Python three. What do I call this? Win Win Squirtle. Sweet. Um, so you can see as we're going along, there's some twos that start popping up. Um, and that's really what we need. So what we really want to do here is, OK, uh, we, we are going to want PDB after all. OK, I can't stay away. Uh, so here we're going to go uh, minus M PDB. We'll import the PDB module. Uh, we're going to do a, a dash C for command. And we're going to break on line, see right here, line 12. 12, and then we'll run com another command continue to just make sure we start right away. And so here we are at line 12. Uh, so that we can see right now, like the um, the C variable, I mean, in PDB, if you want to get the variable, so C, the command is continue, keep running. Um, but so if I want the variable C, I put bang and you know, exclamation point in front of it, and it'll print me C. So C is capital A. Uh, and response, oops, is it 200? Okay, it's good. Response that text is this JSON y, almost JSON y stuff is wrapped in parentheses, I think. Let's see. JSON.loads. I don't think this is going to work, especially not if I delete the R. But even with the R back, I think this is going to fail. Yeah. Um, so if we do one to minus one like that, there we go. So we just needed to drop off these uh, parentheses here. I'm not sure why they're there, but they're cool. Uh, and so now we have this. And then we can do result. And there we go. OK. Get rid of the print. We don't need that anymore. So now we'll do um, result equals, and we'll just grab that right there. So now we have an array with the thing. Um, so we're going to do if any x equals 2 for x in result. Actually, we'll do, no, it's even better. Um, What's the best way to, we're just gonna, so we wanna loop over, we wanna just get where the result is. So wherever there's a two, we wanna update our, uh, what do we call it, word, to have the right letter there. So we will do um, for i comma uh, res in enumerate result if res equals two. Res equals two. Yeah. So then uh word sub i is equal to c. Okay, so what are we doing? Oh, let's make this smaller. Let's get make some more space. So we start off with word just being four nuns. Um now we're gonna try sending in four eights. And if and so if we get any twos back, um wherever they are, where wherever so we're gonna loop over this result. So we're gonna go a zero 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 zero. So, and because we're doing enumerate, this is going to be zero, zero, this is going to be one, zero, this is going to be two, zero, this is going to be three, zero. Okay. 
So then anytime this is, is a two, we know that the, the current character, C, is in the right spot. And so we will update word to have that match. And then we can do if all word, so if everything in word uh, results to true, which would be anything that's not none, uh, we will break out of this loop and we will print uh, dot, 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 join. Uh, I hope you guys, you all don't mind. It. We're going to see a swear word here. <laughs> I think. Um, so if that's offensive to you, um, Tari, you can skip forward a few seconds, but I think this is, if this works, we're going to see. Okay, then there's the swear word. There's, there's, there's the word of the day. Um, we can come back here and actually put that in, and it works, and we, we, we potty mouth. We're a potty mouth, it called us, and we've succeeded. So um, this is cool. Uh, we, so it's, it's cool because, in summary, it's totally different than the way Wordle does it, right? Wordle was keeping everything in the JavaScript and just running it client-side. Um, this took the exact opposite approach, right? Every time I want to put in a guess, I send it off to the server. Uh, but the results coming back made it really easy to just brute force it and write a small script to give us the word of the day. Um, so I can't get tomorrow's word, I don't think, because um, there's no, you know, I'm just guessing the server is going to update and do that on that side, but we can get today's. So um, another fun cheat. Uh, thanks for sticking around to the end, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.